Living a Righteous Life by Leroy Harris III. If you put your feelings and thoughts out of the equation and exchange them for God's principles, then you will live a righteous life. This can be done through repentance, rest, and prayer. Repentance means to turn away from or have a will to turn away from. Rest means to lean, depend, and find comfort in. Then there is prayer, which is admitting you can overcome this situation on your own and need God's grace and guidance to overcome your situation. When you repent, you're denying your will to do what you want to do for what God wants, giving your best to receive God's best. Sin separates us from God, therefore repentance would bring you closer to Him. When you rest, you're seeking God's answer to handle the problem, or not, depending on your own. When you pray, you're asking God for His help. Ask, and you shall receive. The key to being righteous is to put yourself out of the equation, not focusing on what you want, feel, and desire, but focusing on what is the right thing to do for God's kingdom. If you are a Christian, then you will be doing the will of God despite how things look or affect you. Jesus is God's Son, God exalted Him, but Jesus came not to be served, He came to serve. We are to do the same as Jesus, doing the right thing even when others will not, because it is the right thing to do. Not everyone liked Jesus. He even says that the world hated him, and it will hate us also. Living righteously doesn't mean people will like or dislike what you're doing. Righteous is righteous because it is the right thing to do in God's sight, the Bible. It is not based on the reaction of other people. As a righteous Christian, you should be serving God's will above your own, believing by faith that he is right overall, even yourself or people you admire. Press towards the mark, daily striving to serve God better, because it is pleasing to God and important in your walk with him.